I want to share something important with you, a Samsung setting that's turned on by default, and you might want to disable it. I actually didn't even know this setting was active on my phone. I found it by accident while digging through the settings, so if it was enabled for me, it could be for you too. The setting is called RAM Plus. To check it out, go to Settings. Scroll and find Battery and Device Care. So enter to Memory. Then scroll down and you'll see RAM Plus option. Mine was turned on and set to 4 gigabytes. If yours is on too, you might want to turn it off, or select 2 gigabytes if off is not available. And I'll explain why. RAM Plus is a feature that takes a portion of your phone's internal storage and uses it as virtual memory. This helps keep more apps running in the background by pretending there's more RAM available. Samsung says this can improve performance by expanding your memory using storage space. And in theory, that sounds like a great idea. More memory should mean better multitasking and smoother performance right? But here's what you should know. Virtual RAM is not real RAM. Your phone's storage is much slower than actual RAM. So when your phone starts using storage as memory, things can actually slow down, especially if you're switching between apps a lot. Also, your phone's storage has a limited life. Using it constantly for RAM, like RAM Plus does, means frequent read-write actions, which can wear out the storage over time. Now, if you're using a phone like the Samsung A12, which comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage, Storage, RAM Plus might seem helpful. And in some cases, it can help if you run many apps or multitask often. But here's the catch. If you don't usually have a lot of apps open or your phone doesn't feel slow, then keeping RAM Plus turned on could do more harm than good, especially because your storage isn't that large and you'd be using part of it just for memory. Plus, RAM Plus doesn't even activate until your regular RAM is full, so it won't help unless you're constantly pushing your phone to its limits. And in some cases, it can slightly affect battery life too. So who should you use RAM Plus. If you're using a mid-range or older phone with 6 gigabytes of RAM or less, or you see your memory usage always near the top, then RAM Plus might help. It's useful for people who multitask heavily, keep many apps open, or use split-screen features a lot. In those cases, virtual RAM can make things run more smoothly. But if that's not you, if you care more about speed and performance, then it's better to turn RAM Plus off. If your phone is feeling slow, especially older ones, there's a better alternative than relying on RAM Plus. Us. Go back to main settings. Scroll down and go to developer options. If you don't see developer options, go to about phone. Press on software info and press on build number seven times to unlock developer options. So then back. Enter developer options. Go to search icon and search background process limit. Press on background process limit. Again, go to background process limit. By default, Android allows about 20 background apps, but you can limit this to 4 apps or fewer. This reduces memory load and helps your phone run faster, especially if you have low RAM and don't care about having lots of apps open at once. So, if you prefer speed over multitasking, try setting this to 4 or fewer background processes. It's a great way to improve performance without stressing your phone's memory or storage. So, that's it. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more tech tips. For more guide, you can watch this playlist. I will see you there.